Good day everyone. Today the Ministry of Health, Wellness and New Health Investment would like to inform that since our last update on Wednesday, October 21st, an additional three cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed, which brings Dominica to a total of 38 confirmed cases, of which nine are active cases. These three additional cases have been recorded over the past seven days. The Ministry is concerned that the public has a relaxed approach to the COVID-19 pandemic and to a great extent is letting down their guards. We recognize that we are in a festive season that is celebrating our independence and several mass gatherings have been planned. However, based on the protocols which we have been outlined by the Ministry of Health, community transmission could be imminent if these protocols are not complied with. Do you know why COVID-19 is spreading fast in many other countries? It is because people are not complying with the wearing of masks and physical distancing at work and are not sanitizing properly. Persons are not enforcing the use of masks by relatives and friends coming to their homes or when hanging out with close friends at bars, crowded and enclosed places. We must all be reminded that COVID-19 is transmitted by respiratory droplets. These droplets are expelled into the air when we breathe, sneeze, cough, talk, and sing, and they settle on surfaces that we make contact with. Then we touch our eyes, nose, and mouth, the points of entry for the virus. The proven ways to protect yourself from the virus are to wash hands frequently with soap and water, practice respiratory etiquette, use masks, sanitize frequently touch surfaces and practice physical distancing. I also wish to inform that the Ministry of Health will commence its second round of the Community Tested Surveillance Initiative this weekend. I also wish to inform that the Ministry of Health will commence its second round of the Community Testing Surveillance Initiative this weekend in the Casabrus, Marigot, and Roseau Health Districts, while the next four health districts of Grand Bay, St. Joseph, La Plaine, and Portsmouth will be done the following weekend. The first community testing initiative was done during May and June this year. Everyone is encouraged to participate fully in this community testing initiative. This is the only way we are able to monitor what is happening in the community. So far, Dominica has had a commendable track record in the battle against COVID-19 with zero deaths and no one requiring critical care. And this is largely related to the efforts of the government of Dominica, the Ministry of Health, prompt and strategic response to COVID-19 and the numerous healthcare professionals and others on the front line. However, the fight is far from over and the risks continue to exist. We implore you to do all in your power to protect the most vulnerable by complying with all of the protocols that the Ministry of Health has been promoting. Wear masks, wash hands, sanitize surfaces, physical distance, boost immune system by eating healthy foods, keep informed about the latest updates and encourage and empower others to do the same. For us to continue to be effective with our fight against COVID-19, the country needs you to play your part. I need you to play your part, please. Let us do this together. In the days ahead, I shall convene meetings with the churches, private sector entities, school principals, entertainers, among others, to review our effort to inform and educate the public. Should anyone require further information or need to make a report, please call the Ministry of Health hotline at 448-2151-448-2153-448-2156-611-4235-1800-219. I thank you.